um, there's some words in here that the culture has labeled sensitive, but when you hear it in full context, it's powerful. The Bible says, wives, be subject to your own husbands as a service to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, himself being the savior of the body. But as the church is subject to Christ, so also wives should be subject to their husbands in every respect, both their position as protector and their responsibility to God as the head of the house. You can hear that. If you stop there, most people in culture will be triggered. Women are tired of hearing submit to the husband or to the men. Watch this. This is the type of man you would be submitting to if you marry the man that answers to God. Husbands, love your wives. Seek the highest good for her and surround her with a caring, unselfish love. Just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her it's so important I mean it's so important verse 28 even so husbands should and are morally obligated to love their own wives being in a sense as their own bodies he who loves his own wife loves himself for no one ever hated his own body but instead he nourishes and protects and cherishes it just as Christ does the church. And it goes on that for the scripture, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and shall be joined and faithfully devoted, faithfully devoted to his wife and the two shall become one. It's powerful. However, each man among you without exception, see, this is God's standard for a husband. Without exception is to love his wife as his very own self, with behavior worthy of respect and esteem, always seeking the best for her, with an attitude of loving kindness. And the wife must see to it that she respects and delights in her husband, that she notices him and prefers him and treats him with love, loving concern, treasuring him, honoring him, and holding him dear. But I need you to understand this very clear. This part says, and it blesses me, see, with behavior worthy of respect and of esteem. The husband that answers to God, his behavior will be worthy of respect. So no one's asking any woman to submit to just anyone. You submit to the ones who are displaying what they need to sub to display. That's very crucial here. I'm not going to get into the, the both roles and who's who and more scriptures on the wife and the husband and all that stuff. I wanted to lay out, you talk about expectations and no one talks about this, that the, the standard that God has for the men that will take care of his daughters is beautiful. It's profound to me. But I want to say this, these men exist. Please, let's lay that down. There are men out there that, that will see to it that they care for their wives. Not perfect. Not perfect. But they're seeing to it that they, su they submit to God, take care of their wives, so their wives can do it, in a sense here, what she's called to do. It says, as her service to God, she's going to submit to her husband. Both of us answer to God. That's what makes this marriage successful. That's serious. You might even have to read that back. All these characteristics that I said. What an honor. And to be a husband and to be a wife, that's a calling and that's a mantle. And that comes with a special grace. God told me when I was talking to him about being a husband. He said, you, you receive my grace to be a husband. Ask for the grace to be a husband. See, this is a calling. This is a mantle. This is an assignment. You have to become a husband. You become a wife. But you need the grace of God. You need the help of God. And as God works on you, you can fulfill that beautiful calling. It's profound to me. It's bigger than just 
sunshine and rainbows. This is an assignment from God. And you, you're going to have to, the Bible says, see, he's laying his life down for his wife. That's a cross. 